Good morning. We're going to have some rain chances start to come in tonight. A lot of us not seeing rain for probably almost up to two months as severe drought continues to expand across the southern half of our area. So that will likely change as a stalled front will kind of hang around North Texas. That's going to bring rain chances over the next 48 to 72 hours. So we're talking heavy rain potentially for some spots in North Texas. Flash flooding is likely actually now in these red shadings and possible for the yellow shadings. That includes most of Central Texas, Waco and Colleen. And then it starts to drop off as you get down into the Brazos Valley. And that all starts tonight where we could see some showers and thunderstorms begin to approach us from the northwest. Here's 8 o'clock on future track. I would say any time after 6 would probably be the time we might be able to start to see this arrive. It'll work its way from west to east and then eventually fizzle out. And we we'll might have some lingering showers to track for you on Good Morning Texas tomorrow. And then we'll keep those isolated chances in play throughout your Wednesday. So the storm threat's not going to be too bad. Maybe some small hail or gusty winds, but the bigger threat will be the lightning and the flush flash flooding as that is staying in the moderate to high category as well. And in the meantime, we just have to get through the hot temperatures today. In fact, it's pretty toasty to start the morning. We are in the 80s all across central Texas. Dew points, we're talking tropical dew points in the 80s across the Brazos Valley. So it is going to feel extremely muggy throughout the rest of the morning and throughout the afternoon. That's going to play in the role heat in the heat today. Temperatures back into the upper 90s, so you get your feels like temperatures, of course, back into the triple digits. So you'll still want to take care of yourself with lots of water outside. Upper 90s for the I-35 corridor, mid 90s for the I-45 corridor, and then we'll see those upper 90s, maybe some triple digits too for places in the Brazos Valley. You factor the humidity on top of that again, it's going to be feeling very toasty out there. So load up on the water again today. We'll start to cool down a little bit upper 80s to lower 90s for highs starting tomorrow throughout the rest of the week with the better storm chances there on Wednesday. Then we'll have the mid 90s through the weekend and then a much stronger cold front guys comes through next week. We're talking maybe some of the coldest temperatures we've seen so far uh, this fall, something we have not seen in months. We'll continue to watch that for you and see what that will turn into later this week.